we need to have a, uh, an understanding of the beauty of music and how, how it can affect your life. And you only can do that. And it's important that we do that with our young people. We'll make them better citizens. Uh, and we need that so badly. One day, we actually went to Bill and Madge and we talked to them about uh, the possibility of a different naming opportunity. And we thought because of their passion for education, they might be interested in having their name somewhere on the education wing so that we could acknowledge the support that they'd been giving over the years. And they said, we really aren't interested in recognition. We're not interested in having our name on a wall. But they said, there is something we are interested in. And that was when the seed of the idea of using technology to reach young people began to grow. 45,000. Yeah. It's an amazing number. It's just hard to think that we've touched the lives musically. And look, at the, if you touch somebody's life when they're this age, what will they be like when they're able to go to symphonies and live a, a, a more cultural life? Look, what the, look at the benefits they can bring to our community. It integrates music in their everyday life. It, it, it's not just once in a blue moon that they'll go see the orchestra or, or maybe one time in their life or maybe not at all. It, it really introduces them um, and, and, and makes it part of their childhood and growing up and, and learning process. I think it's really remarkable because it reached the, the far ends of the earth and has touched lives uh, and, and kids' lives from very far away. It's, it's just been one of the great success stories of, of marrying a mission uh, around accessibility and um, reach into uh, all, all communities. We want music to be enjoyed at, by all. And this is a, also the idea of a targeted, intentional program for a specific audience, in this case, uh, the youth of our city. As it happens, the youth of the world can also watch, thanks to Bill and Madge.